So what this is, is a very basic uh, sort of beginner run, sort of baby's first speed run, Weenie Hunt Jr., whatever strategy, whatever name you want to call it. Um, really just aimed at kind of getting uh, maybe like a 15 minute time or something like that. A lot of safeties, a lot of easy going, um, with a little bit of room to kind of work in some more advanced strats but this is really just when you're just starting out let's take the easiest course and i'm gonna be kind of just save saving my way through this um pretty simple stuff it's gonna be a little bit rough i'm gonna probably do a couple of takes on things but that's kind of how we go so without further ado one one i would just pick luigi we'll just set a little comfy save state here i don't manage i screw anything up just kind of follow your way down, get in the door, and just kind of start jumping. Jump about this vine and release it the pow block up there onto the shy guys. You can do some turn backs. It's fine. Get the one up here. Note you will um, bonk on. I guess I can show that. You will bonk on a one up, which is kind of weird. Let's go over this first section again real quick. So you can kind of, you, you know, attempt some silly double jumps. Don't, don't worry about that though. Just kind of, you know, Luigi has these really big jumps. So when you get a one up, you actually kind of bonk, you kind of bonk there. So just note that. Jump over here to the shy guy. Come in here, set another save set. You can just keep running hold jump all the way you can just get up over the shy guy you don't want to fall down what I would suggest just doing don't bother with the Luigi clip here just grab the bomb wait till it starts flashing hold right and left and get in the door yeah you're taking damage but you're only just fighting Birdo I'm not sure which cycle you'll hit here but you're not worried about egg cycles for this, make sure with Luigi, you just tap jump one time real quickly, because his jump is so high. And you just grab the eggs, grab the orb, get in. Just really basic stuff here. Uh, Luigi again for one, two. I find this is the easiest. You can, all you have to do is make a little jump over here, jump there. I screwed it up. You can screw it up, but this is pretty free once you do a little practice at it. I already beefed it. Let's try it again. Jump up here, there. Let me do that again. That part looked right, but I don't do it again. But just get into the jar here, you get a one up. Let me do that again. Because I'm forgetting this now that I'm recording. Run to the end, do a jump, jump there, jump there. Just keep holding jump and you will land here. Grab the one up if you want and just make your way out. It's a little scary the first time you do that as Luigi, but a little bit of practice. Just note where I jump. Do a super jump here, off the ninja. To do a super jump, you just hold down until you know you start flashing and then hold up. Or then press A. So just keep on running. Just big easy jumps with Luigi here. Jump up on the platform. If you want to try Toad, you can try Toad, but I find it's easier just to do Luigi, personally, than try and set up a fast carpet. You take those nice, big, easy jumps over. It looks a little scary. It's it's really not. It's it's really free. You're not worried about hitting egg cycles either, all that kind of stuff. So I would suggest using Toad for 1-3. One 1-3 three. One three is super easy. You just kind of run, run. Jump, jump, grab the shy guy. Easy jumps here, run off here, jump. Jump there, jump there. Shock the shy guy, grab the potion. Jump over these guys, run over, throw the potion. In and down. Nice and easy, that's the easiest level in the run by far. Again, probably just use Toad here. One thing you're gonna wanna do here is start with a jump because you accelerate really slow. This is all covered in Cool Kids tutorial and all that. So you just start start with a jump. 
And then we right here, hold it, and then grab that flurry. You get the 20% speed bonus with Toad. Jump at this seam, jump again. Chuck the flurry, grab the rocket. You don't get hit there. I've never gotten hit there. Do that again. So you will start, jump, grab the flurry. Pretty easy jumps here. Jump right at that seam of that last one. I bonked, but if you do it right, you jump there. You can just do some full jumps there. Second part here, again, pretty easy. Let's do some fun jumps here. Grab the shy guy, jump. Just look at the patterns that I'm jumping at there. Jump here, jump off that. There's a lot of different ways that people do this. But make sure you get, oh, I didn't get it. You don't need that, it's just the silliness. You can clip the snippet into the ground, or the shy guy into the ground, it doesn't matter. That's pretty easy. Four, um, four, two here, probably princess is the easiest. There's a lot of uh, sections you can just make easy. So power jump here, slide, jump. You don't really need to do that. Just come up here and avoid these bezos. There's a bunch of different patterns. You can just kind of copy that one if you want or find something that's easy. But you just kind of got to, you have to do this a little bit and learn the patterns. Come over here, go in the door. This is where Princess makes it pretty nice. Just float along, float along. Her jump lasts forever. I mean, look how long her, you know, she can just float and just trivialize huge sections. Grab the potion, jump, or run onto that first ice block, and then you kind of just, just don't turn back and you won't get hit. Chuck the potion there. We're on our way to world 6-1. Here again, Princess makes it really easy. It's a lot of just long kind of floaty jumps. Kind of just land wherever. This kind of works for me. This is, I think, the pattern that I learned. Oh, and I fell in. That's fine. We'll just keep floating. Now here from the first one, first cactus, let me do that again. That is something important to actually do. I'll put a little save state there next time. See, on the cobra, on the cobra, to the rib cage, to the pokey, to the cobra, after the quicksand, jump, float here. So, so what you want to do here, this is actually something that just makes it easier. From this cactus, float all the way over to this pokey, land, and just float over that section. It makes it super easy. Hop in here. You can just run. You'll never get hit by that bullet. You want to come to this, so after this cobra, go down here. You want to make sure you land on this platform. And what that does is manipulate the shy guy to never, uh, to kind of, to go, to go right. Let me make, let me do that again, I'll make a safe state. So just keep going, uh, do the safe state right here. So we land. You want to get on the first, so there's sand tiles or something interesting in this game. You can only dig like right in kind of the middle of the sand tile, like I'm pressing, well, see so right here. Well, not a good example, but you have to be in a certain position and it's usually easier to be centered. See how they're all tiles. So you want to come land, come to the second tile, start digging. You can just mash if you want. Find it's easiest, get to this Fanto, dig once over there, and then come back here to this sand tile. Stand kind of on the edge, because Princess can grab it without having to dig that tile. Just jump your way up. Do a little duck jump here. You don't really need to, but sometimes the Fanto can get in the way. Grab the first egg here. And let's talk about pick up invincibility. See how the iframes Princess picks up so slowly, she can, and when you're picking up, you avoid damage, so you can really use that to, to be safe. Just just try and be safe here, no reason to rush it, this is the first time. 
can really use you can really save you a lot there. Princess has such slow pickup iframes. Luigi has slightly slower, I think. And then Toad has almost none. Mario has not many. So for 6-3, we're going to pick Luigi. And, or excuse me, 6-2. You may or may not have seen some of the faster strides here. I'm just going to skip the first bit. Because that's a little bit more challenging. Um, what you want to do is just come over here. Scroll the screen to the right. You need to do a power jump. Hop up onto this Albatross and just ride it. You'll never get hit by that, so you don't have to worry. Jump over the Bezo. Do whatever to, you know, stave off boredom. So, I'm going to save state here because what you can do is continue to ride the Bezo. I mean the Albatross. Jump over those triple ones. And then you'll get three here. That was close. These guys have a big hitbox, so they're pretty easy to land on. Just keep on riding until you get here, and then jump off and run in. What you can do if you want to do part of a slightly harder strat, and it's kind of fun, is land here and do a big jump, land on the Bezo, full jump, land on three, land on the first one, jump, jump, and you're through. It's really not that hard. A um, couple tries and you can do it. And it's really fun. So just a big jump here, jump off the Bezo. You really gotta hold A down. One little tap there, big jump here, tap, and do a little turn back, tap. And then you're through to Birdo. Best way to do this is to do a duck jump over to this mushroom block, death from above. Wait for your iframes again there. Hit him, bonk again. Her, I should say. That's the easiest way to do Birdo, or the fastest, I should say. If you want to be a little slower, you can just kind of come over and take your time. Maybe you don't get there quite fast enough, so you just wait for Birdo to come back, then drop. But definitely try and land on this one. Wait for Birdo to come back, bonk, and then you can use those iframes again, bonk, and then jump up here, and you're through. Pretty. Pretty easy, we're just doing comfy strats here. 6-3. You can try the the ladder jump, potion jump, I mean, if you want. To do it, it's not too bad. You just grab the potion, kind of get on the left, the right-hand side of the cactus, run, throw the potion when you're at the top of the cloud, and jump off of it. But it requires a lot of I'm gonna screw it up there. Requires a lot of muscle memory. I'm I'm not really well practiced at it to be honest. And there's good tutorials out there for it. So, but we're we're just doing beginner. So if you want to try it, try it. It's worth it once. Otherwise, you know, you just go under the sand here, which I think most people know. Actually, let me. I'll just load it. We we'll, we'll do it again without the um, without the potion jump here. No ladder jumps, nothing like that. You just kind of come up, hold left, you can stand here. Jump, and just let the sand take you down. Hold left. Just keep tapping A. I think it's, if you hold B, it gets you through fast. Hold B, tap A. And then you come out here, in the door. So here, go left. One big jump here will take you all the way there little hop there. Now I do the 6-3 Birdo. In my opinion, this is one of the hardest parts of the run. Common point of failure. It's a tough fight. What I would say is try, get the, get the mushroom here. Wait till Birdo gets kind of to the right there and just kind of bonk. And let's use our iframes for a pickup. You know, Birdo's gonna camp the egg. That's what Birdo does. Yeah, we, got, we even, you know, screwed up a little bit there, but we got it off the ricochet. So just take it slow. I, I, I kind of like that strategy starting off to just stand below and wait for that free hit. And then she'll be stun locked. Then you kind of get up there. Just kind of toss a block around. Be safe. Now for this, you do want to enter duct and hold um, down right B and A. Just hold all the buttons you'll float over 
And now for Triclide, another tough fight here. The real basic strat is you can just build a block wall. So grab the blocks here. You need three to form a perfect wall. You can do a little super jump and then put that one on top there. Note that if you're doing a super jump and you're holding down B, you will throw the item when you jump. So when you're holding down super jump with an item like that, don't hold down B. Just charge the super jump and then press A. So now we have a perfect wall and we can just throw the blocks over. Luigi can usually kind of wiggle his way up. We'll never get hit here. And there you go. Nice and easy, nice and safe. And go through the door. On to 7-1. Luigi again. Jump up, jump up, jump up. Grab the ladder. And Luigi's jump here is so high that he actually doesn't need to charge a jump to get onto the Albatross. That sometimes can maybe be a little scary as a new player. So if you want, you can do just come here, charge a jump, and then jump from behind. Stand on the pillar and just run onto that. Because he falls at such a slow rate that you you won't you won't fall. So charge a super jump if you want. Jump on this pillar and then just run and jump off. And you avoid all the pillar section. Jump over. Rocket takes you up. You can trivialize this with Luigi easily. Just jump here, jump there, off the snippet, jump, and then kind of hold right and you kind of come all the way around. You just kind of have to do it to get a feel of it. You can jump all the way over and down there, so you don't want to do that. There's not really any kind of indicator as to when to stop holding right, but you just kind of got to get a feel for it. Don't worry about getting, you know, you'll see high level runners get it off screen. Just don't worry about that. Just make your way over. Climb up the ladder. Just come over here and do some jumps. Get on the ladder. You're safe on the ladder for the sparks. The sparks can't hurt you when you're on the ladder. So the first cycle up, you can just kind of run off, jump. You probably want to avoid the spark. Charge a jump and then hold up there. Makes it easier to catch that ladder. over and then we'll just kind of run over and jump jump then just kind of come up here jump off yeah the spark will come around that's fine charge hold up grab the ladder and just you know start climbing it's a bunch of different ways you can do this you can just kind of chill here wait for the sniff it maybe and jump over sniff it's really annoying there is no pattern it's all random it might fire one or two but from that, you know, what you could also try to do is maybe even come up on this side so you have more time to kind of see what the pattern is. Probably if you jump after one bullet, you know, you're going to be safe, but you know, you take it on those clouds and jump up here. Uh, for this Birdo, when, when you go in the door, hold right A and B, like now. So when you run over, you float onto that mushroom. And then this is a fire Birdo. You know, again, I'm just kind of showing off the the iframes of Luigi, you know, you can just take it real safe. Obviously I'm doing just an exaggeration there, but pick up the orb, go through, and you're on to the last level already. Probably best here is Princess. Pretty easy. Uh, come up here, wait for the snippet to fire a shot, and then you can just float on over. I waited an, uh, an exaggerated amount of time there, but you just really just hop up, hop up, wait for that first shot, and then over. Um, there's another slightly friskier way is you hesitate for a second, just pause for a second, and then go duck jump and then over like that. It's a little friskier. There, duck jump, duck, well, let's see, duck jump. Something like that, and then you just float over these ninjis, real easy. Jump through this, maximize your time on the pillar going this way, jump over the panzer. Yeah, sometimes that'll spawn. You do have to be a little more careful there. We'll do that again. 
I'll do the slightly spicier strat there. Duck jump, duck jump, jump. Jump over these ninjis. It complete, she just trivializes a lot of this. Jump and flow. And then sometimes the panzer will despawn, but just you might have to hesitate and jump over a little bit. Not a big deal. Clamp this chain. When you get to the top here, you can hold left and you'll fall into the wall. It's a little faster than climbing. And you also kind of clip into the wall. So I'll show you that again. So what you want to do, clip into the wall. Wait for that spark to go off screen. Run over, just keep running and you don't get hit there, which is pretty nice. I think I made the save state too late here. I'll make a save state again. So just doing that hesitation thing there, you kind of get through. The hesitation lets the, snag, the snippet shoot right. Just floating on through, floating on through. Float, and then so you just kind of have to hesitate a little bit. Jump up, grab the chain, clip into the wall, just wait for that spark, and just hold right. Chain jump time. This can be... I didn't make the safe state where I wanted to. One more time. Good to get a little more exposure to this anyway. Kind of jump, bonk, jump, run, 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 float, hesitate, jump, float. Okay. Save state done. Jump here, run, 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 chain. So that's what it's supposed to look like. This can be really problematic for new runners, and it absolutely was for me. What you're what you're doing here is if you're you're climbing up and then you hold. Uh, diagonal right or diagonal left? I prefer diagonal right. See, I kind of screwed it up there. You wait, you basically, you're wait, you're pressing A in the three frame window you have if you're holding upright. And what she does is jumps off the chain. So basically what you need to know mechanically is hold upright to get about here, or hold up, switch to upright, and then jump. Not the easiest thing to do. So there are some easy setups that I kind of taught myself because I had a lot of trouble here. What you can do with Princess is kind of, if you are positioned, see how her right arm is kind of in the brick there? If you're positioned there, I think it's there. Yeah, see like there's, there's see how there's multiple positions you can be on the chain? I'm tapping the D-pad. This is what really got me at first, because how do you know when to jump? Because there's so many positions and there's not any kind of cue in any kind of video that I saw. So what you can do is wait, or position her such that her arm is in that, in kind of clipping in. I think this is the last position, yeah, see? See how I tapped it one more time, she fell off. Arm is there, right? What I'm gonna do is, is hold upright and then immediately jump. And then that works. The problem is if you try and you're moving and go to upright and then, it, oh, well, I meant to screw it up there, but you can easily scroll the screen up and this takes forever. And then you go back down and then you try it again and you, you scroll the screen up and then it's just, you know, don't feel bad if you can't get this easily. It's it's not trivial at all. So that's that was kind of my baby strat here was to position Princess such that her you know, c climb up, stop, and make sure she's positioned. You can you can tap the D-pad. I find it helps with your index finger real quick to tap it. Upright, well, upright A. Like almost immediately, there's no delay. Upright, upright A. <laughs> upright A, I'm a little bit rusty at it, but that will work. You'll have a pretty high success rate at it. It won't be perfect, upright A. It's not at the same time, but it's upright A, like kind of in that in that pattern. That worked for me. And then as you get more comfortable with the timing, you'll notice that you can just kind of, you can see that visual, because that's when you jump, it's the visual cue there is when, you know, when she starts clipping in the wall, that's your visual cue, but it's hard to see at first. So that's my recommended strat. So anyway, once we're up on the ceiling, which again, isn't necessarily easy, 
Gotta make sure you jump over these uh, chains here. And princesses, you can't really see where you are, you just kind of have to know, but princess has such a long jump that you can pretty easily jump over all of these chains, just, you know, because I'm holding run and jump over all of these. Then we run, 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 over to Birdo. He's gonna wanna keep an eye on where Birdo's at as you approach so you don't drop into an eye. Scroll the screen. I scroll the key off. Okay, so you would never do that anyway. Just keep an eye on Birdo. Run right till you fall down. Grab the key. Jump over. I find it helps to jump over. And then just let the let the uh, conveyor belt bring you back to Birdo. We'll do that one more time. Okay, jump. Oh, run right. You gotta make sure you go past this bar. So we'll just come up here, try this, you know. Upright A. Hold jump. Hold jump over that one. Just keep running right now and then watch for that, you know, watch for fireball, stuff like that. So again, grab the key, start jumping and jump over and then just come back. Duck under that first one and then jump over here into the door. That's obviously going to be a little bit scary, but you just you you always if you if you duck under that first one you'll never get hit. Almost a wart. Um, grab the second mushroom block. She goes she she walks so slowly you'll lose time if you grab the first one. Bring it over here. Drop it down. Um, grab the orb and just chuck that mushroom block. Jump over. Wait for him to come kind of close. Throw it again. Jump right throw. Let's screw that up. Throw it there. Grab it. Wait for him to come close. Jump right. Throw three hits. And then you're in. You can still take damage from this, the mask gate here. Also, if you don't go in, it'll do that. You can still take damage after there's a brief window of time where it'll damage you. So just make sure you kind of wait before jumping at it because it'll it will damage you. Jump in the gate. And we're at wart. For the first time, I'm gonna suggest just do back strat. So come in, hang out the bottom. Wart will oftentimes snipe some veggies, that's fine. Grab a veggie, come up here, jump off this block, float all the way over, and then wait for wart to open his mouth. Bam. Jump and float over. Grab another veggie. Jump and float. I probably could have gotten that one if I was more aggressive, but throw from, you know, you'll never get sniped by bubbles. Jump here, float over. And we'll just continue to do this until uh, Ward is dead. It takes six hits, so you can be a little more frisky there if you want. There are patterns to these veggies. Um, I'm gonna suggest everyone look at Cool Kids' video. They go in a certain pattern. He does a great job of explaining the pattern of the veggies. But basically, it just goes. It goes this one, this one. If Ort would stop being rude, it starts. It'll just start here, and then go here, 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 here. So it just goes back and forth, essentially, back and forth. And we'll just try and kill war here. Like I said, take six hits. You can just be extra cautious here. We're not trying to. We're not doing world record runs here. We're just trying to beat the game. So there goes three. Four. Eh, we're a little slow there, so we'll just wait. That was five. I think one more hit here. Careful of that low. Sometimes those you get that low pattern. Like, I mean, and if something like that, and eh, that that one's gonna be a pain in the butt. So we'll just wait till we get a nice easy veggie to catch, and we'll just jump over, chuck in a worst mouth, and worst dead. Nice and easy. 
that's what I recommend. That's what I did for. You can you can still get like a sub, for sub fifteen, maybe a fourteen or even a thirteen minute time with uh. With those strats, so that's some real basic stuff. I thought what I'd do is try and do a, a speed run. We might even die along the way, and that's fine, just to see what kind of time we can get uh, with the uh, these strats. So we'll just start the timer, and we'll choose Luigi. I'm just comparing against my 927 splits here, but so we're we're gonna be red the whole way. Choose Luigi and just jump. Jump, jump. I don't even really remember these. Yeah, it's something like that. There's, you kind of choose your pattern. And jump over here. You can choose the one that I did there. That's fine. Run, big jump here, big jump. And just, you know, throw the shy guy down there. Wait for the bomb to start flashing. Jump up, get in the door. Run, run, run on the top of the screen. Ah, oh, we missed an egg cycle. Big deal. Tap A. Grab it. You know you're safe to throw when Birdo does a jump. Because that's when, that's like, she'll never shoot an uh, egg when she's in jump animation. So you're fine. Grab the thing. Go through. And we beat, you know. We beat 1-1. One, one, one. Now on to 1-2. See if I can remember this. Jump. Jump, jump, hold, jump. Just keep, just keep holding, jump. We'll go in. We we'll even get the one up. And screw up, picking up with Luigi. He's so floaty. Uh, jump onto this ninja. Charge a power jump and jump. Big jump. Tap jump. Through to Birdo. Now we're just little, just taps, you know, keep your distance, tap, jump, grab it, throw it at Birdo, and we're on to 1-3, jump, 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 grab, shy guy, jumpy, jump, 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 run off, jump, jump on this, jump here, throw. Somebody wanted your turn back. These guys might be a little bit in your way. And oops, a little early split there, but that's fine. Toad here. Eventually, if you want to get, you know, work Toad into levels a little bit more, um, you know, he certainly is fast just for all levels that we're using um, Princess for, but we're using Princess just to be a little bit, a little bit easier. Since her, her long jump trivializes so much. Jump there. Grab that shy guy. Bouncy bounce bounce. Bounce. Yeah, you might fall off there. Avoid the auto bombs. And okay, we got the shy guy in the in the wall. Princess. Jump, power jump, or charge the power jump, and then jump onto the line. Jump, jump. Avoid these guys. Avoid these guys. And we're through to the door. Big jumps here. Grab the potion, make sure to run off and then jump. And here you can even just kind of, you don't even have to jump, you can just run on the whale sails and jumps. And then we're through to 6 1. Float over everything. This is much harder as Toad. So it's pretty nice to just do this as princess. Oops. 
You might fall down like that. Just just wait for the double for the panzer and then keep going. I screwed it up. Go in, fall down, get on that second tile. I was a little slow there. It's okay. Grab that key through the thing, through the sand, climb up. Out, duck jump if you want to. I was a little slow there. I almost got hit. Grab the key, or grab the mushroom box. Remember, you can, you know, I'm, I'm just I'm doing this exaggeratedly slow, but, you know, just want to point out how. Uh, how big her iframes are that, that let you uh, take it nice and easy through there. So, Luigi 6 2. We'll just take it. We won't even do the extra jumps here. We'll just. We'll just ride the Albatross the whole way. Kind of do a little dance. Clicky controller. Doopy 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 This will save you about 18 seconds if you do the jumps. Um, all the jumps. If you do just half the jumps, it saves you about 10 seconds or so. So this is basically our auto scroller level. And we jump off. We take a nice comfy birdo here. We'll just, you know, grab the mushroom block. Oh, we didn't do a duck jump over, so we're just gonna wait for birdo to come back. Bonk. Oh, even got hit. Might even die here, that's fine. Oh. So what you can do is wait for Birdo to do a jump, maybe. And that's when you know you're good to grab that again. Wait for Birdo to come back, grab the orb. Jump off that one. Through to 6-3. And 6-3. Not gonna try potion jump or any ladder jumps here. Left, and we'll just let the sands take us in. Holding B and mashing A. Left B and mashing A. Holding left B and mashing A. Oh, and there's our Luigi buddy. Big jump here. A little jump here. Now we're on to stupid Birdo. Birdo sucks. So, you know, just do that. You know, Birdo's camping the camping the block. That's fine. Oh, we even screwed up. But the, see how the iframes there saved us. Just kind of toss that around. Duck jump here. Let's build our fort. Um, so there, there. So what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna charge, super jump, and I'm only holding. I'm not holding anything else. Then press A. I'll get you up on top and let you build build a nice safe fort. Fort strats or comfy strats. And you kind of wiggle the D-pad to get Luigi's jump high. And then, all right, Triclide's dead. And we're through through there and on to seven one. Jump, 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 climb the ladder. Climb the ladder. Sure, charge a super jump. Let the bird go by. Stand on the pillar and then wait for it and then jump on over. All right, jump on the snippet, jump on the snippet. Oh, good. So the snippet despawned. So. This will happen. So all you have to do is hold, charge a super jump, keep holding down right, and then A, and then just keep holding it, and you'll get over. I missed it the first time. You gotta hold right for quite a while there. That doesn't often happen, but it can. Wait till this fart passes, get in position, jump over it, charge super jump, hold up, grab that ladder, so we'll just camp here. Just wait for the snippet to shoot a bullet and then 
we're safe. And then you can you know, jump up here. So whole Ray A B. Float land on the block. Toss in a Birdo. And we're through to seven two. And now time for Princess. And we'll do the weight strat. We won't do the spicy strat here. Wait for it to shoot and then float and go. Jump, 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 jump. Float safely over all these ninjis. Ride that whole thing all the way to the right. Oh, we got a despawn. That's cool. Jump up. Let the spark go off screen. Let's not worry. Come up here. I think one tap right. There we go. Upright A. Run, run, run. Jump, hold and jump. Jump, hold and jump. Looking at Birdo. Okay, so the. Okay, so I'm gonna grab and see. The iframes help avoid. Wait for it to. Uh oh. Got hit, no big deal. Duck. In your throat. Grab the mushroom block. Grab the orb. Uh oh. Uh oh, we died. Eh. That's fine. We have plenty of lives. It can be a little, you know, the, the hitbox is huge on the Hawk Melfus here. So just, I've kind of forgot that you want to throw once there. Wait till it comes back a little bit and jump and throw. Jump and throw. Wait so you don't get hit. And we're through to Wart. And we're just going to hang out the bottom here. Wait for a veggie. Ah, we can't get that one. The next one's going to come out here. So we should be able to catch that one. Just wait for the bubbles. Jump over. Ah, we missed it. So you, you can, you can, uh, if you're too, okay, I was being impatient there. So the next one's gonna come out here. Uh, the next one should come out the middle, this way. The next one's gonna come out here. I think this is gonna go right. Yep. No, no, we missed it. Whatever. This one will come out this way. Jump up. Jump up. Over. I'm being a little bit frisky here. The next one's going to come out here. And I just know this pattern because I've done this enough, but... You can kind of see how it goes. The next one's going to come out here. Jump up here. Jump over. I'm being a little frisky. Oh, is that six already? Yep. We got six hits. Wait for a little fanfare to finish. And then you're done. So that's even with a death and we got a 12, 1252. So, uh, you know, you can, uh, you know, get a 1230 and maybe even less with that. And you can start working in other strats too. Um, probably the next thing to work in would be doing buffer strats on warp probably um, and the cool kid video has a good description of that you'll learn the patterns and he shows you nicely how they uh how they all work so that would probably be the next thing i would try and then trying a, a faster tri fight there are some easier strats or uh faster strats that are still pretty easy pretty safe uh then working in uh the jumps on six two with Luigi, which are not that hard, especially the second half isn't too difficult. So I think that's that's about it. I just wanted to show some real easy, real simple uh, intro strats. And you can see there, I think my first time with using similar strats like this was a 1430. Uh, and then, you know, you work it down less than that. You can probably get a 12 minute or something with these strats, depending on how fast you are at them. So yeah, that's just a little tutorial on super intro mode to uh, SMB2 any percent. I guess the other thing you do, you can cut out getting the one-ups too, right? Especially on 1-2, that one-up costs you a lot of time. So yeah, um, hope this was helpful and, uh, hope to see more people doing some Mario 2.